Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vittori Vita and you are watching Vittori Vita TV. So if you are new to my channel, Vittori Vita TV is a lifestyle channel and I usually do makeup reviews, I do makeup tutorials, I do food vlogging, I vlog about my life. This is more like a lifestyle channel and so we always have fun around here. Anyway, today is a very special video because I will be doing a get ready with me video and so we'll get ready. I will be emceeing a party this evening with this look and so if you want to see how I was able to achieve this beautiful look, just keep on watching. I got some new stuff from London Drugs and we'll be using them today. I'm super excited. I got some new brushes. And I also have a new lipstick, which I am going to show it to you later. Okay, so I usually start my makeup with a primer. And you know that my go-to primer is the Smashbox Original Photo Finish Smooth and Blur. I usually put this primer on my T-zone because that's where I get so oily and of course I want to have a matte finish even after how many hours of being exposed to the lights and moving around at an event. you can always just use your hands to apply it on you don't need a fancy brush to put a primer on but you can also use a beauty sponge but I think that when you use a beauty sponge it actually absorbs some of the product and so instead of the product going on your face it goes to the beauty sponge so it is one of those tricks where you want the primer to get on your face than on the beauty sponge right <music> going to wet this beauty sponge so I can put my foundation and if you're wondering where you can get good beauty sponges they are available at your closest winners or Marshalls they're just there if you frequently go to Walmart I would suggest that you try the real techniques beauty sponges but most of my beauty sponges are from winners or Marshalls my hands are wet and my beauty sponge is wet I am ready to apply my foundation and for my foundation I use the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Ultra Definition Liquid Makeup. Urban Decay claims that this foundation is peptide infused which means that it has some nutrients in there to make your face look so nourished. So you just shake it, shake it, shake it. Apply it on your beauty sponge. So I usually put a little bit first and then I'll put it on my face now. Honestly, this is the clearest my skin has been for weeks and so I am celebrating. I'm just really happy that my face is back at its glorious moment and I'm so ready for my close-up. I like beauty sponges because it really gets into the creases although it absorbs some of the product on the beauty sponge what I like most about it is that it kind of like thins the layer of the foundation and you wouldn't look like you have a very thick foundation on make sure that you have blended your foundation really well so you have a very flawless finish I 
I may not be able to make some delicious goodies, but I can bake my face. And of course, there's always Naya's Kitchen YQR, where we can get all our delicious baked goodies. So I'll stick with baking my face. And when I say bake my face, this is what I do. To bake my makeup, I use the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder, and it is the translucent one. Just get a little bit and Pat it on your face. If this is your first time watching a makeup tutorial, the purpose of baking is to make sure that you have a matte finish on your face. And even if you're doing a lot of active things for the rest of the day, your face is going to stay fresh and flawless. And that's what we're trying to achieve here. My target areas are usually under the eyes and also at the center of my forehead. Let the translucent powder do its magic while you do the rest of your face. And now let's open my new set of brushes that I got from London Drugs. These were selling $35 for the whole thing, but it was on sale for the low, low price of $15. I was able to snag this amazing offer. Honestly, guys, the main reason why I went to London Drugs was to get some makeup removers. But then, of course, when I saw this one and it was on sale, I was like, I should have that. So, by the way, guys, this is the Deluxe Pro Brush Vault. It looks like it's very promising. Oh, my gosh. And you get to have a little sneak preview. Look at that. So, we have the multi-use brush which of course I think by the way it sounds you can use it on all other purposes and we have the foundation brush for your foundation concealer brush which I don't really use much precision contour brush mm, I love some precision contour this is probably what we're going to use today and a small blending brush so a small blending brush would be useful if you are doing some very dramatic eyes. And it also comes with a silicone brush pad. I am going to try out the Precision Contour Brush so I can make the best nose line. So to contour my nose, what I'm going to use is the Mineral Glow from Pure. I discovered this last summer. I usually wear them if I really feel like I need to contour on certain days. So the brush isn't very soft as I thought it would be, but let's try it again. Make sure you also really blend it good. And so to contour the rest of my face, I will still be using this Pure Mineral Glow. I will be using this multi-use brush from the same brush set that we bought earlier at London Drugs. Contour is done. For my blush, I still use my Smashbox Blush On. This has three colors. This is the Rich Coral, this is the True Coral, and this is the Highlight Coral. It still works for me and I really like it. And I don't put a lot, just a little bit to add a little bit of color on your face. And now we're ready for our lipstick. 
So I'm just gonna try on this lipstick and if it actually looks nice on my face, I'm gonna wear it, but if not, of course, I'm not gonna use it. So for my lipstick, I'm gonna try the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Mousse. It says it's Hyper Matte Matte Intense in Francais. <laughs> Will this be able to replace my Smashbox obsession? Hmm. We'll see. I'm not sure if I like it. It's not as pigmented as I thought it would be. Okay, girl, purple lipstick. I wasn't sure. not very sure if I actually dig the color still not at par with my Smashbox lipstick that I really like but let's add some gloss and see if it actually works better this is a little love luster for me I'm gonna use the lip gloss and see if it helps so for my lip gloss I'm gonna be using the Smashbox Gloss Angeles. I love the name, it's so catchy. So, lip gloss to the rescue. If you've noticed, I am just dabbing the lip gloss on my lips because I don't want to rub off the lipstick that I put in earlier. is so much better I love it already the lip gloss trick just worked perfectly I will be putting on my eyeliner and what I use is this Kat Von D tattoo liner I know some of you have canceled Kat Von D for not doing an immunization on her kids but I just really like how this eyeliner is on point. I'm gonna keep using this until I find something that I really, really like. So just like that, my left eyeliner is on point. And so for the last step for my get ready with me, I will be putting on my favorite lashes from House of Rira. Okay, <laughs> okay, so House of Rira sent this to me. If you want to get a discount when you get your lashes from House of Rira, just type in Vito15 upon checkout and you will get a 15% discount from your purchases. The style of this lashes is a go-go. I just love how big these lashes are. So there are also other kinds of lashes from House of Rira and you can check them out at houseofrira.com. There's Foso and then there's Moshi. My favorite is Foso when I don't want it to be like super big but I don't know why. I feel like I want it super big tonight. I will be using a go-go. So you can also get their eyelash applicator and it looks like this. This will make things easy for you. You will see how I put it on and you'll find out how easy it is to apply false lashes. People find it really intimidating to put it on but honestly it's super duper easy. I use this duo um, two-in-one brush on strip lash adhesive and it works perfectly I sweat so much when I'm dancing especially when the audience wants me to dance when I MC but yeah this is really good apply glue on the lashes try to put a little more at the end of each lash let the glue dry for a little bit <laughs> Gosh, what a transformation with lashes without lashes so what I like about House of Rira is I've actually used it a lot of times and it looks beautiful every time and it's no fail it's just glamorous oh, 
you are using lashes for the first time, it might be a little bit of a struggle, but if at first you don't succeed, you gotta try again. I wanna make sure that my eyebrows are looking alive and awake like my lashes. I'm gonna put on the Smashbox Full Exposure. We need it I will add some more highlight to make this look more glowing and a lot healthier. For my highlight, I will be using this Modern Renaissance from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And what I'll be using is the Primavera. It's a little golden and you know how my skin tone just loves golds. Let me touch your boots left to right. The touch you feel me cannot stop me got that fire. This highlight is a little subtle. I'm coming in with that fire. Come get you close. So you might think that Vittori Vita, you are using an eyeshadow palette. And I'm like, girl, you can use your eyeshadows as you know your contour. You can also use it as your highlighter. So it's multi-purpose. I mean it expires, and so you gotta make the most out of it, right? And so this look is perfect. I'm now ready to MC. I hope you have learned a little bit, at least a little bit in this video. If you want more videos like this, make sure to comment in the comment section below. If you're not much of a commenting person, you can drop your favorite emojis. So thank you so much for watching and don't forget to follow me on my social media channels. I am on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and Facebook. Just look for Vittori Vita. Keep on watching Vittori Vita TV because when it's fun, it's Vittori Vita.